Amen. Praise God. How many is ready for the Word of God? Amen. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. I feel a glory to God. I feel Come good on, tonight. Amen. Amen. God. I'm so glad that Jesus loves me. I'm Come so on. glad Jesus loves you tonight. Yeah. I'm so glad that God, amen, hallelujah, you don't have to buy and praise God. You don't have to do anything special. All you got to do is have faith and believe Him. Praise God. He said it's impossible, praise God. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Amen. All you got to do is believe Him, amen to God oh. and he'll move upon you praise God amen just believe him take him at his word hallelujah come on and he'll perform that which amen to God you think is impossible because God likes to do the impossible God amen. likes to show praise God that he can do what hallelujah man says can't be done come on. because he is the creator of all things praise God he spoke it into existence amen to God there's power in the spoken word amen come to God on. when amen. we speak the word hallelujah to God it changes lives it brings the Deliverance, amen to God. Speaking the word tonight over your life, praise God. It's planting seed. It's your faith should be increasing. The Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah to God. I'll tell you that that's why you should be excited to want to hear the word of God because it increases your faith and with that you can please God. Amen. Amen. That right there can preach for months. Amen to God. That's good. But I'm going to get into something tonight, and I'm going to show you, praise God, hallelujah, how much Jesus loves you, how much He cares for you, and that He is truly moved, praise God. Oh. He really cares about your needs. Amen. Whether they be small or great. Well, Brother Mike, i got an ingrown toenail. He still cares about that. I'm all. Well, praise God, they're going to amputate my leg. Well, <laughs> He still cares about that just as much as He does that ingrown toenail. You know that? Oh. Praise God, all He wants you to do is let him love you. Let him take care of you. That's all he wants. Come on. He wants to give you everything. Bless you above and beyond. Amen to God. What your carnal mind can think. Amen. Come on. Because we're blessed already because of him. What he did at the cross. Amen to Come God. On. That right there ought to get you shouting. Amen. Because of what he did at the cross, it said that the veil of the temple was rent, <laughs> praise God, from top to oh, bottom, oh, which amen. gives us full access to the Come throne on. room, amen to God, the amen. holy of holies, amen to God, where you had to have a priest go for you. But now we can enter in boldly. Oh, Somebody say I'm going boldly hallelujah. before the throne of grace, amen, amen to God, amen. to make all my needs, all my needs known to him, that he Come will on. fulfill them and meet them because of what he did at Calvary. Hallelujah to God. I feel the whole key shot on my door and on my top. Go away, hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. It gets me excited. You said, Brother Mike, you wound up. You tighter the corkscrew. Yes, praise God. You should be too, amen. Because we've got the answer. We know the answer, and his name is Jesus. Jesus. And there's people outside these four walls right here that has never heard anything about Jesus. There's people that has heard about him, but they don't know what he can do, amen. My, my, my. Amen. Go with me tonight to Luke chapter 8. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, the 8th chapter of Luke has a lot. Come on. You don't, you don't say God don't care about His folks. You read the whole chapter from beginning to end, and you'll see how much Jesus does love and care about you. How He cared about those when He walked on this earth nearly 2,000 years ago as a man. Amen to God. And He still cares for you today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We're not going to read the whole chapter, but if you get a chance, let us read the whole chapter. That will increase your faith. Amen to God. Come on. That will let you know how much you are loved and cared about. Amen. Luke chapter 8, beginning in verse 40. Reading from a King James Version Bible. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Still preaching 2012 Come King on. James Version? Preach here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not too many other places, praise God. They have an NIVs and New King Jameses. Amen to God. We need to back to 1611 King Amen. James Bible. Amen. Amen. Start the new year off right. Hallelujah. And it came to pass. Somebody say glory to God for that. Glory to God. Woo! Amen. How many knows that when you read that, praise God, that means something big fixing to happen. Amen. Come on. When it came to pass, glory to God. Jesus is saying and it came to pass over your life. Amen to God. Come on. And it came to pass you were set free. It came to pass that oh. lost love them with amen to God. Oh. Gave your life for him. Oh. It came to pass. Somebody say amen. 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 Glory to God. That when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him. For they were all waiting for Him. Don't you wish we could get like those people were? Come on. The modern day church today does not wait for Jesus. Come on. We don't even get glad when He shows up. Uh -oh. 
Hallelujah to God because we've put him in a box. Come on. We want to be in at 11, out by 12. Amen to God. Come on. We don't want you to preach the hard stuff. We want you to preach something that will make uh, our flesh comfortable. Come on. Praise Amen. God. So we, we've boxed Jesus in and we've prevented him from doing anything because, hallelujah, we stopped <laughs> the hand of God. Amen. Amen. So they were all waiting for him. Verse 41. And behold, there came a man named Jairus. My Lord. Yeah. And he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that he would come into his house. Hallelujah. Verse 42. For he had one only daughter about 12 years old. 12 years of age. I'm old. And that 12 is significant. I'm going to get to that here shortly. And she lay a dying. But as he went, the people thronged him. Now go down to verse 49. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead. <clears throat> Trouble not the master. Oh my. And of course we know in between that time is when the woman with the issue of blood, yeah. when Jesus was going through, she pressed through and touched the hem of his garments. And she was healed. Amen? Come on. But a ruler from Jairus' house came to him and said, Trouble not. He said, Trouble not the master. And, and I read that last night. And I could not get that off out of my spirit. This ruler, hallelujah, Trouble not the master. In other words, you don't need to bother him no more. She's dead. He can't do nothing. That's not like the modern day church today. Well, hallelujah to God. He can't do nothing. Yeah, He's no, not no, here. No. We can't yeah. see him. Come on. I mean, trouble not the master. He doesn't care about your needs. He doesn't care about, praise God. Like I said a while ago, if you've got an ingrown toenail. Come on. He doesn't care about, hallelujah to God, if your bills are late. He doesn't Come care on. if you've got food in the refrigerator. Let me beg to differ. He does care. Amen. My Jesus does care. Come on. Somebody give him a hand clap of praise for caring for us. Amen, Amen. God. Hallelujah. But they would tell you, the old religious, that religious spirit would say, trouble not the master. Yeah. You see how the enemy's working here? Come on. To, to discourage Jairus. I mean, it's bad enough Jairus knows his daughter is fixing to die. Come on. But when this ruler's, what did it say, the ruler of the synagogue's house, the guy working for him came and said, she's dead. I'm sure all hope was gone there. I'm sure he just went like, all this, this woman got her healing. She prevented Jesus Come from coming to my house. Yeah. I'm sure he probably got mad a little bit. <coughs> How many things he got mad? I'm sure he did. The old flesh probably popped out. It doesn't say there in the Word if he got mad or not. But honestly, think about it. Wouldn't you get upset if you felt like when you got a hold of Jesus and then somebody else broke through and stopped him from coming Come so on. they could get their miracle and then your daughter dies? Come on. It would make the flesh mad. Yeah. You would be like, how could they? How could yeah. she? This woman, my daughter's dying and there's nothing. She's alive. Come on. But he said, trouble not the master. Come on. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we have full access to you tonight. Thank you, Lord, that we can come to you with any problem, any situation, anything, and you still care about it. Father, hide me behind the cross tonight. Cover me with the blood, and I pray, Lord, this spoken word will minister to those here at VOTL and those going out through the Internet. Lord, in the radio, dear God, in whatever avenue, Lord God, let it minister life to them and bring a change. Lord, let your people know that you care for them, that you love them, God. Let your people know that everything matters to you, Lord. Lord, forgive us and where we doubted you and failed you. In Jesus' precious holy name, and the church said, Amen. And Amen. Now let's do one thing, praise God. Let's get up and give somebody a hug or shake their hand. Praise God or punch him in the jaw. No, I'm joking. Amen. <coughs> Just have a little bit of a fellowship. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's good to fellowship one with another. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because when we when we get to the other side, amen to God, we're going to be all doing this all the time. I tell you, praise God, it's going to be wonderful. <coughs> Somebody say, hi, how y'all going to have this much fun with Jesus, my Lord? Man, 
Us Holy Ghost filled folks, we know how to have a good time. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Just imagine that for all eternity. Glory to God. Amen. You think, you think we get loud now? Praise God. You wait till we get over younger. Oh, There's going to be some loud shouting going on. I'm Come sorry. On. Praise God. If this offends your denomination, we're going to shout and praise God. On, we're going to praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We're going to do like what they should have did when Jesus entered in Jerusalem. Yeah. We're going to shout and praise God yeah. so no rock can cry. I'm not praise, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God. He said, if they don't praise me, rocks are going to praise me. Something's always going to praise him because he's worthy amen. to be praised, amen. amen, to God. Hallelujah, he's worthy. When he comes up on the scene, something has to praise him, amen. Oh. I'll tell you, that's how good our God is. Woo, go over yeah. to God. I'll tell you, even the devil has to praise him, amen, to God. He don't want to, but he has to, praise God, because he knows who Jesus is. He knows Jesus could say, you're done, and that's it. Come on. Oh, praise God. Even Jesus had mercy on the devil. Yeah. Because there were several times in the Scripture he could have just condemned them to hell and was done with it. Come on. They begged him, do not do that. Hallelujah. See, that just shows you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That just shows you Jesus is all powerful. Come on. He's still in control of everything. Amen. Amen. And we're serving Him, praise God, and we've got victory over the devil. Come on. How many believe you are victorious tonight? I mean, we're really, truly victorious over Satan. Come on. Amen to God. Yeah. How many know that if you know it, lift your hands and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, Brother Mike, you told me to praise Him while I go, Yeah, but keep praising Him. Amen to Come God. On. Praise Him while I'm preaching. It don't matter. Amen. Amen to God. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want to be the only mouthpiece <laughs> running my mouth. Amen to God. Let all God's creation praise Him. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. I was telling you a while ago about the number 12. We're in the year 2012. Amen to God. Amen. The number 12 means, this ought to get you excited. Come on. The number of power. Come on. Woo! Go over it. The number 12 means the number of power. Yeah. Praise God. Let me give you some examples right here real quick. Mark chapter 3, verses 14 and 15, And he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, that, they might, that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. There was twelve disciples. Amen? Come on. In Luke, 2, 40, uh, in Luke chapter 2, we read here of Jesus at the age of twelve. Come on. Going about... He was ministering to the people in the synagogues there. Look at verse 46 in Luke 2. And it came to pass that after three days, uh, Joseph and Mary found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. Verse 47. And all that heard him, talking about Jesus, were astonished at his understanding and answers. Come on. Yeah. Twelve years old. Can yeah. you imagine that? These, these uh, doctors and teachers that have studied for years and years. Come on. And then here's a 12-year-old. Man, he yeah. speaks with great wisdom. Yeah. But there's that number 12 again. Amen? Come on. The woman with the issue of blood. She Amen. had it for 12 years. 12 years. See, there's that 12 again. We're in 2012, amen to God. This is going to be the year, praise God, of where we're going to see one of the greatest outpourings of the Holy Ghost, I believe, that we've ever seen. I believe we're going to get the former and the latter rain that was promised and prophesied by the prophet Joel, amen. Oh, amen. I believe that the church needs that, amen to God, amen. to overcome what's going on. On, you know, man. Brother Billy was talking a while ago about these doctrines of devils, about all this crazy stuff going out here. He had to defend the name of Jesus against a, a, a fellow believer. Come on. That's sad right there. Yeah. And I'm going to bring up Facebook because I tell you, there is so much garbage on Facebook. People putting stuff on there claiming to be in the name of the Lord. And if you read that stuff and really know the Word of God, half that stuff on there is a bunch of foolishness. Come on. It's a bunch of garbage. They got groups on there claiming to be Christian groups. And all they're spitting out is stuff that's confusing. Come on. I'm sorry, hallelujah to God. I tell you, some of that stuff on there is just crazy talking. Come on. They're getting on there talking about that. Hallelujah to God that they don't need, hallelujah to God, the blood anymore. <laughs> Praise God they were saved and that's all they need. I'll tell you one thing. You still make mistakes. You Come still on. mess up. Yeah. The Bible says if we say we have no sin, we're liars. Come on. That's the truth. We all mess up. We're not perfect.
perfect amen to God. Yeah. There is not one of us in here that will not make another mistake. Come on. Tomorrow morning we'll get up and we'll probably stump our toe and probably say a bad word. Or, oh yeah, I hope not either, amen to God. But I'm just saying, that it's not, you know that old nature and it's that old sin nature. We've got to keep it under the blood. We've got to let Jesus totally do, crucify it and kill it. Come on. Hallelujah to God. There's not going to be a one of us, praise God, that doesn't have a bad thought about somebody. Come on. Probably in this service having That's a bad true. thought about what I'm saying, amen to Come God. On. I'm just simply saying that, praise God, we need the blood. We need the cross, yes, we amen do. to God. Yeah. We need Jesus now more than Come ever. On. And those people on Facebook need to get saved, amen to God. God I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or mean, amen to God, but it's the truth, though. I had a preacher write me, hallelujah to God, just today. Send me an email. And people say you ought to just be, you know, unfriend them on there. I keep them on there so I can minister to them. Amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. He told me, he says, you know, I think we're in the day of age where all this shouting stuff needs to stop. All this hardcore preaching about sin and hell. And amen to God. God is a God of love and that's all he wants us to preach is love. Well, yeah, that's true. I agree with that. He wants us to preach in love. Yeah. But we can't ignore the fact that, praise God, if you're called to preach the gospel, you're going to have to take a stand against sin. Come on. Amen to God. You're going to have to live a lifestyle of holiness that's acceptable unto God. Amen. Come on. And you can't do that unless you have the Spirit of God in you. Amen to God. That's Amen. why the baptism of the Holy Ghost is so essential. You need it, amen to God. You need a fresh touch every day. You need to get up and seek God's face every single day. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. The woman had an issue of blood for 12 years. And she pressed through and got her miracle. Amen to God. Come on. And Jairus had a 12-year-old daughter who had just died. My goodness. And they said, why do you trouble the Master? Well, I'll tell you one thing, praise God. I know each and every one of us in here tonight has got needs. I know we've got unspoken requests that we don't want to mention out to other people to hear. God knows, and that's good enough, amen to God. Sometimes they don't need to be spoken out so people can hear them and gossip about them. Yeah. You know, but God knows, amen to God. Amen. And what He wants me to relay to you tonight is, don't feel bad. When you tell him your needs, Come on. don't let that devil tell you why trouble Jesus with your needs. Yeah. Why bother telling him, hallelujah, it's done, it's over with. But I'll tell you one thing. When those people, hallelujah, God, they, they went on in to Jairus' home, Jesus did, hallelujah. And they were, they said she's dead, but Jesus said she's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. They didn't know that that promise was coming down the dusty road. Oh, amen, amen. God. I'm telling you right now, when he was coming down there with Jairus and them, hallelujah to God, the promise, amen to God, was on his way to help that little girl. Jesus didn't see her dead. He seen her just sleeping. She's resting. Amen to God. Yeah. See, we look at things in a different way than He does. Amen to God. I'm telling you tonight, hallelujah God, we need to get the eyes of faith on tonight. Hallelujah to God. We need to start looking at things the way Jesus looks at them. Hallelujah to God. We need to start seeing life in situations and not death. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sister Reese, I'm going to use you, uh, sister, your mom, for example. Hallelujah. The last time I was down here, Hallelujah. Sister Bonnie was here. And I could tell something was wrong in my spirit. I felt just, I felt she just had a spirit of infirmary, infirmary on her. She just was bound by a nagging spirit. Hallelujah. Oh. That old spirit that's tormenting her now, hallelujah, has to bow under the name of Jesus. Amen, amen to God. I'm not saying this to embarrass you, amen. I hope you don't feel that way, amen to God. I'm just saying, praise God, she is a blood-bought child of God. Oh. Amen to God. We've got authority and power over these things, hallelujah to God. And I believe wholeheartedly she is set free by the word of God and by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil has no control over it, but he'll do anything he can to create torment. To Amen. try to tear you down, sister. Try to tear you down, brother. And get your family upset because you truly love your mom. Amen to God. And I'm telling you, Satan will work it. No, amen to God, any way he can to make you just give up. Come on. Amen. It's the truth. 
He'll use family members to torment you. He'll Come use on. co-workers, friends. He'll use anything because his time is running out. Come See, on. that's when we ought to rejoice right there, amen, God. We ought to rejoice when these things are happening, not the fact that they're happening to our loved ones, but rejoice that Jesus said, hallelujah to God, these things must take place before Come I on. return, amen, amen, to God. That makes you know that you're doing right, that you're being obedient to the Lord, amen, to God, because the devil's fighting tooth and nail. Come on. Now see, if we was doing the work and there was no opposition or no attacks, something would be wrong there. So he says, why do you trouble the Master? Amen to God. Trouble Him. Amen to God. Oh. Take your knee. Hallelujah. Bring your burdens to the Lord and leave oh, them there. Oh, 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 Hallelujah oh, 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 to the oh, Lamb oh, of God. Oh, Somebody say, praise God, it's okay to tell Jesus about my problems. Amen. It's okay. Glory amen. to God. That's why he said over in 1 Thessalonians, he said, pray without ceasing. Amen oh. to God. Make your request. <laughs> Talk to Jesus. Amen. Come on. You don't always have to be on your knees every day, but you can talk to him when you're walking, amen? Come on. When you're driving down the road, cut the radio off and just have a little talk with Jesus. Come on. What does that song say? If we have a little talk with Jesus, it makes it all right? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe that, praise God. With my whole heart, I, I confess that to you tonight, church. I believe if you have a talk with Jesus, it's going to be oh, all right. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's been times I didn't know what I was going to do when I got before the, the presence of God. And I said, Lord, I said, I don't know if I'm coming or going up or down, sideways, four ways. It don't matter. And the Lord just comforted me. He wrapped his arms around me and loved me and said, it's going to be all right, praise Come God, on. because I'm still on the throne, amen, to God, and I'm not defeated, hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah 59, 1, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. Go over it to God, Come that on. it cannot say, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Oh, glory. Yeah. See, we mentioned all these prayer requests earlier, praise God. And there was a lot of them. Yeah. And we probably didn't even scratch the surface. No. Amen. That's just the things we remember and we don't forget. Come on. But you see, praise God, we continue to uplift the name of Jesus. And we offer these requests up to Him because He wants us to do it. Well, Brother Mike, He knows about it. Why do we need to tell Him? Well, praise God, He wants you to communicate with Come Him. On. Amen. Amen. Everybody's worried about making New Year's resolutions. Amen to God. I want to lose weight. I want to do this or I want to do that. I, I want to be a better Christian. I want to go to church more. Praise God. Let me tell you what you should be doing. You should be making commitments instead of resolutions. Amen. Come on. You should be saying, Lord, I want to be more committed this year to pray more. Come on. Lord, I want to be committed this year to read the Word more. Amen to God. Amen. Lord, I want to be committed more this year to cut the television off, turn the computer off, praise God, and get before you. Hallelujah, God. I want to be committed on getting my lost loved ones to the cross. Amen. Come on. Amen. I want my friends, amen to God, to hear the Word and change their lives. Amen. Come on. Because I tell you, we have a responsibility, praise God. We have a duty as a believer to take the gospel out. Amen. Amen. You, everybody in here, has a responsibility. Come on. It's not just for the preacher. Come on. Amen. Amen. It's not just for the evangelist. It's not just Come for on. the teacher. It is for every single body. Amen. It's your workplace, <laughs> praise God. I tell you, you know, some's going to disagree when I say this, but praise God. Regular people have more of a responsibility than preachers do. And I'll tell you why. Because they are around a lot more people, a lot more uh, unclean, un unrighteousness than most preachers are. Amen? Come on. And what I mean by that is like in some of the workplaces, praise God. In some of the places they go, amen to God, they're around a lot more because preachers, praise God, are around usually the believers, amen. And they don't see a lot more than people, amen to God, than just regular people. Come on. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Praise God. Did, did I lose you? I hope I didn't lose you. Amen to God. Hallelujah. I mean, we all got that responsibility, but praise God, you've got a bigger duty out there. Hallelujah. Because I'll tell you, for me, amen to God, yes, I'm a minister, but I work at a construction company, and I hear so much filthiness come out of their mouth. I hear so much, I hear so many things. I mean, sometimes I wish that I could just plug my ears up and not have to hear it. Come on. I mean, it's just vulgarity and stuff. But the Lord has me there to be a light to those that are lost, amen. And I've said this before, praise the Lord, that praise God, they know that when something's wrong, they'll come to me in private and say, hey, brother, 
Would you mind saying a prayer to the man upstairs? Amen. Come on. The God I serve is not upstairs, amen to God, hallelujah. He's not sitting on a house, amen to God. Hallelujah, he's living within my heart, amen to God. Oh, amen. Hallelujah, he's everywhere, praise God. Glory to the amen. Lamb of God. I'm just so thankful tonight that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I'm so thankful tonight that, hallelujah to God, he knocked on my heart's door back on April 29, 1993. And I'm so thankful I had the sense enough to open it up and let him come in, praise God. I'll tell you, I'm just blessed about it. I'm so grateful to him tonight. Amen. I can't thank him enough. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know he cares about me. He cares about you tonight. <clears throat> praise God. Don't you let the devil tell you he don't care about you. Because Jesus does. Just like he cared about Jairus and his situation. Yeah. Hallelujah. He cared about the woman with the issue of blood. Come on. Praise God. There is so much of Jesus to go around. Amen. He's not limited. Praise God. He can go with you to me to everybody. We've got His Spirit in this service, and they've got it probably 100 miles down the road in another service. Praise God. He's Come on. everywhere. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, so much. Hallelujah. I tell you, Jarius, praise God, was a blessed man. You know, he knew to go to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what gets me, praise God. He could have run to any old physician out there, but he chose to go find Jesus. Amen. Praise God. That should be our ours tonight. We should do the same. We should choose to go search out Jesus. Amen. Come on. He's still God in the storms as well, praise God. He wants us to call out when the storms happen. Amen. It's not always going to be sunshine. You're not always going to see rainbows, praise God. There's going to be storms, hallelujah to God. You're going to be tossed to and fro. You're going to be bounced around, amen? Come on. I think about when that guy on the lake, hallelujah, and Jesus was in the boat, amen, and the storm came about. And they say, I could just hear it. Old Peter, boy, he got going up there again. He said, Master, do you care that we're going to perish? <clears throat> yeah. You're just sitting back here taking a nap. We're about to die up here. You're just sleeping. Come on. Glory to God. Then they woke him up. And I love what he did. Glory to God. Sister Cindy, I love what he did. Hallelujah. Come on. He said, peace. Be still. Be still. Amen. And that, you know, if you honestly think about that, I'm sure that got the disciples like, oh, man. Man, this man spoke to the wind and it ceased. Hallelujah. Come on. The same Jesus that spoke to that wind, that rainstorm, hallelujah to God, that hit that boat, is the same Jesus tonight that's here. And He's speaking to your situation. Amen. He shot out of my door. Hallelujah to God. He's speaking peace. Be still. Amen. That you're not troubling Him when you go to Him with your needs. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Has there ever been a time in your life you felt like you were just abandoned? <clears throat> No hope. And then out of nowhere, Jesus spoke to your situation. Were you fearful? Were you worried? Come Were on. you scared? Were you just stressed out? Yeah. The Bible says, 2 Timothy 1 7, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. See, right there, he even gets your mind right there because he knows the mind's going to go crazy. Come on. <clears throat> Because when you have a sound mind, praise God, and peace in your heart, praise God, nothing can bother you. You got that, amen to God. That's what, that's what we Christians like to call that peace that passes all understanding amen. that only Jesus can give you, amen? Yes, amen? That's the peace, praise God, that when Jesus entered in Jairus' home, that's why they put the doubters out. Because yeah. they were out there laughing at Jesus, amen? Come on. This man says she's asleep. She's dead. Yeah. That's why he put the doubters out. Sometimes you've got to put the doubters out. Come Get on. away from them. Amen to God. It may be, it may be family or friends. Sometimes you just got to say, listen, you're not going to deter me from getting my miracle. You're not going to keep me, praise God, from pressing through like that woman with the issue of blood. I'm going to press through because I'm tired of staying in the boat in the shape I'm in, praise God. I'm tired of this mess. I'm pressing through, <laughs> praise God. You just got to put them out sometimes, amen? Amen. You got to put out those religious folks, praise God, that come and say, well, it's not God's will that you be healed. Come You're on. a liar, devil, amen to God. The Bible says in 3 John, amen to God, verse 2, but uh, hallelujah to God. I didn't forgot it now. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, let me get my Bible open up. And have mercy. Thank you, Lord. 
I tell you, that's what happens when you start getting older. You forget. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Brother Mike, you forgot the verse. Amen to God. Beloved, I wish to above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. That's God's will for you is to <clears throat> prosper in your soul and in your flesh too. I don't mean money-wise, but He wants you, praise God, well so you can live an abundant life for Him, praise Come God. On. So you can do His work. Hallelujah. Amen. He does care about you. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Casting all your care upon Him, yeah. for He careth for you. Praise God. Amen. So tonight, praise God, as we close out. Hallelujah. Am I, I wasn't going to keep you long. But I felt in my spirit. I don't know if this is for somebody tonight. It may not be here. It may be for out there <clears throat> on the internet or the radio. It don't, you know, whatever the Lord chooses. But I'm telling you tonight, you do not trouble Jesus. Come on. Your needs does not trouble Him. It does not get on His nerves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. It does not bother Him when you talk to Him about what's bothering you. Amen. He wants to hear from you. Amen. I mean, praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Reese, I'm going to use you again. And please forgive me. I hope you still love me. Praise God. But I know, praise God, you've been going through this. I know when Brother Billy texts me and stuff, how hard this has been with your mom. And I know does that he cares about that. Amen. Hallelujah. He wants you to tell him how you feel. Come it on. may frustrate you, praise God, and I'm sure it does. <laughs> hallelujah. But he wants to know that. Every need, hallelujah. Yeah. If you got a cold, pray. If your nose is, is all clogged up with snot and stuff, <laughs> praise God, tell him about it. Come on. Because he cares about that too, amen. Yes, God does. Just, amen. In everything. Stand your feet with me tonight, please, if you don't mind. Just a simple little thought and a simple word, praise God, that, that I pray will, will bless you, praise God, because the devil, <coughs> the devil wants to hinder what Jesus is doing. And we're in a new year, we're in a new time, I believe, like I said a while ago, this is going to be one of the greatest years we've ever seen in the body of Christ. I believe that Jesus is coming back very soon. It could be this year, amen. I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it could be. It could be before we leave out, brother. Amen. Anytime. Father, thank you tonight for your word. Oh, we thank you tonight, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you love us and care for us. I pray for each person here tonight. Thank you, Lord God, that they've accepted you as a Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, that you've, hallelujah, made a way when there seemed to be no way. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, be with us tonight as we depart. Guide us to our home safely, Lord God. And Lord, help us to just speak from our hearts to you, to open up, Lord. You know everything. But help us, Lord, to talk to you more, to get in your word more, Lord. And forgive us where we have not done that, Lord. Help us, Lord God, to take your word and give it to those who are hurting as well, Lord. Help us to rejoice with those that are rejoicing and to weep with those that are weeping. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for the word tonight. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And everybody said? Amen. Amen, amen and amen. <coughs>